What's up, guys? Long time no see. Um, extremely busy. So there's a bunch of weird noises going on here. Um, we finished finals, and I think that's about where we left off with videos. We got back from finals. Then we went to SEMA. SEMA was awesome. Um, tried to shoot some footage there. Way too many people. It's almost impossible. Between the thousands and tens and thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of people that are in that place. It is hard to even get good pictures, but shooting video, near impossible. And then all the background music that just screws up YouTube. So uh, anyway, fast forward to now, it's been about three weeks, at least three weeks since we had a video up. And um, in case you haven't seen, we've been busy moving. So I'm in the old location in old Claremont, and you can see the warehouse here. We're in, um, we're in one of the downstairs warehouse area, and it's empty, completely completely empty so I think some garbage is over there in that corner because we're moving out all new building so um, God, spider webs all kinds of crap yeah so yeah when I say it's been busy it's been really busy so this is us you hear some weird noises uh, hear the forklift going non-stop we are loading trucks and we're just it's moving day um, we've actually been moving for a couple months now, moving in stages, little pieces here and there, moving some of the inventory. Well, last week it hit hard. All of a sudden, build room moved instantly, offices moved instantly, and uh, this is it. We're on final cleanup days, all product, everything, got to get out. So, time to shut this place down. Uh, we're over in the build room, and there's still some stuff here. Uh, let me flip the lights on, just in case it's hard to see. I think, I think you can kind of see, but we're gonna we're gonna cut the lights on anyway. Oh, so yeah, you're still gonna see some random stuff, random motor frames like you see here, um, coil pallets, no coals in there. These are all empty, just kind of leftover stuff. But all the big build stations, all the huge tables, everything from over here, magnetizer, it's all gone. All the important stuff, all the main build stations, packed up, cleaned out, moved on. Just little bits of almost trash and some little parts and just things that weren't immediately necessary to move production. Uh, all, all the immediately necessary stuff, yeah, grabbed, moved instantly, get those guys rolling in the new shop. So it's part of what we're doing now, just coming through zone by zone and uh, just final cleanup. Uh, yeah, sweeping everything up, see piles of trash, sweeping up, breaking down boxes, throwing things away. We got a huge dumpster out there. We're just piling so much stuff in. It is, it's crazy. We've been in this building over six years, a good six and a half years now. And it's just crazy how much stuff accumulates like even down here, just random stuff gets piled up under under tables and a lot of it's stuff you, you almost don't need anymore, but some of it is good and you just don't realize it ever got thrown down there. And stuff just piles up, piles up. And we went through that in the last big move six and a half years ago, but this time, Jesus, the place is just so much bigger and there's just so much more stuff everywhere. Holy cow. So. If you're seeing any delays and maybe some shipping times, if you're a dealer or anything like that, please bear with us. We have a lot of work going on right now, and this is taking us not just days. This is almost taking us weeks. Oh, it's been a nightmare. All right, walking through over here to uh, what we used to call the parts room. Used to. Now, I don't know if you remember it from previous videos, seen it in previous videos, but this room, this whole corridor, as a matter of fact, used to be just full. I mean full. We had 
cones lined all the way down that wall. We had coils, just shelves and shelves of coils wrapped all the way around. We had rows of shelves of dust caps and spiders and all the parts required to build subs. And I mean, this entire room you see behind me goes completely full. <clears throat> it's a lot of shit. Even, um, and you'll still see again some random stuff here and there, but this entire corridor was full of all kinds of everything. And it's not anymore. So we've been working pretty hard, moving stuff. Doing some donuts too. If you, if you follow the uh, Sundown Unofficial Instagram, you might've seen, um, I brought my old warrior in here. It says once the place opens up and we get room, it's pretty fun to bring the, bring the uh, ATVs in and do some drifting and dragging and stuff like that. After work, of course, obviously. So we're over on the other side, uh, the parts room, other side, the build room. In fact, that leads back to the build room. This, if you've ever heard some of our ghost stories, that's the boa room. Don't go in there. That shit looks like a murder scene. Dead bodies in there and stuff. But we're in the prep room. And this place used to be full of just skids of motors and parts and just pieces everywhere. Um, tools, sanding frames, installing terminals, getting everything prepped up for the builders heading back there to the build room. Now it's all gone. Nothing left but it's a few little bits and bits of pieces, a uh, table, some brooms and stuff where we're cleaning up. Shout out Geo. So yeah, it's been uh, a long, uh, painful experience trying to get all this stuff moved. Now, once upon a time, I used to come in the main office door here and every office from grandma here to Brian, Donnie, Christina, Jake, Brandon, Elizabeth, just offices full of people. And now it's nothing. Um, just the little bits of, come on, like, yep, just little bits of trash and random things left that we just haven't had a chance to get through and do final cleanup through here. Again, we're starting out there, going through one zone at a time. Pretty much everybody came through, grabbed the stuff they needed, computers, everything, all important paperwork, moved. Bam, whole office gone. So you'll see nothing but just basically some empty desks and old furniture and stuff we didn't need because the new building came kind of pre-furnished with Jesus, hundreds of desks and filing cabinets and stuff. Plenty that we didn't even need to take these. Now we might take these anyway, just to have extras for the future or do something else with them, we don't know. We'll probably come through on a final cleanup and grab a lot of this stuff. But what once upon a time was a bustling, busy office, because we're in the middle of the day. It's about, I don't know, two o'clock here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at that, 2.06. So two o'clock here, middle of the day, complete silence up here in the office that used to be busy, busy, busy. Yay. <clears throat> so even as much as we have moved so far, you've seen so much empty space, office moved, build room moved, some of the warehouse moved, the big warehouse downstairs moved. Um, oh look, more donuts. Yeah, we have fun sometimes. Um, there's still a lot. We, we are not, we're not halfway through getting things moved. So, I mean, one of the main central corridors where we do most of our shipping out of, and you're still gonna see some product chilling that we haven't got to yet. So, still some product here. This is mainly our uh, partial skids. Partial skids are A-stock stuff that we grab and pull from to ship ground orders. Most of the excess and overstock, all the big stuff, the full skids that we, we keep out there in the um, other part of the overstock area and warehouse. All those have been moved or are getting moved right now. Starting with the full stuff and then we'll, we'll trickle down to the partial skids. And then the obvious garage area. So all of our vehicles are still chilling here because they're not super high priority. We don't need those to maintain and, and, and keep the business rolling. So these will chill here till 
kind of one free day we get to come and grab these once all the important stuff's done. Um, but for the most part, eh, yeah, all the big stuff. I think today's the day all big stuff will be done. Just little piddly stuff. And it, it is literally, it's going to take an entire crew of us to come through and do a final sweep going through this place. And we still have to move the testing room. Uh, entire room still here. Everything is set up in it. Uh, I don't know if I've shown this on camera. I don't think I have. Um, maybe. Honestly, it's been so long, so much. I don't remember what the last stamp so I tested and put a video out of. But here's some cool stuff. Salt series multi-channels. Prototype testing. 200.2. Salt 400.2. 200.4, 300.4, and the big boy 500.4. I got some insane power out of that thing. Um, that 500.4 bridged 2 ohm, Jesus, a uh, lot of power. Um, very, very underrated, does well. Um, you know what, I don't know if y'all have ever really seen much of a behind the scenes look of the testing room and so much stuff the extra lights all that the um oh my god the amps and the subs that are off camera give you a little look salt 12 uh stuff everywhere stuff um accumulates very quickly when we do a bunch of random tests uh, now a lot of times we get a model of amplifier in we test it and go do something, you know, it goes to production. Um, typically we sell off prototype amps or they go in somebody's car or something like that. But we've been doing so much testing on this salt series that a lot of those amps are still sitting here. Same with, um, well, actually some of these ain't here anymore. Same with the SFB models you see down there. Some of the original prototypes, um, got some of them. Hell, I still got an SAE 3000 just from pictures, taking pictures to get it online that I think it just got forgotten and left behind chilling in here. So yeah, there's your little behind the scenes look of this. Everything we gotta move. We have already pulled down the LED lights out of the roof. Used to have some really, really nice LED lights. We pulled them down, got them moved over already. We do have location in the new building that's, uh, I won't say already set up, but it's a cleaned out room, nice, big, really, really nice room that we're gonna get all this stuff moved. But geez, the size of this bench trying to get all this in here. This is a huge, massive, very heavy bench with a very big, massive, very heavy battery and cap bank down inside of there. I'm not looking forward to moving this thing. Oh no. So the uh, very, very small amount of video footage and pictures I got at SEMA, I, I don't even know if it's worth the dirt yet. I um. I travel light when I, when I go off places like that, like SEMA, because if I'm flying, I don't take my whole camera set up or nothing with me. I just cell phone, use my cell phone for everything. Uh, I got a new Note 10. Cell phones nowadays, they take great pictures and video. They, they do awesome. And um, so I just use my cell phone, shot a little bit of video where, where I could, when I could. God, it's awful trying to video out there. And um, I don't know, when eventually I'll, I'll bring the stuff up, I'll import it into my little software and check it out, see if I can make a video out of it. If I can, I'll, I'll throw it up on the channel for y'all to check out. If not, you know, sorry guys. Honestly, I go to SEMA just to have fun anyway. You know, um, I posted a ton of pictures to my Instagram, so if you're not following that, Sundown Audio Unofficial, um, ton of pictures got put on Instagram from SEMA. And uh phew. Just thinking of finishing moving this place. It, it has already been such a nightmare. Did I already say that once? Probably. So anyway, let's wrap this video up. Was, my head's hurting from today. Um, so just wanted to give y'all an update, show y'all what's going on, why there hasn't been a video. Because everything's moving and um, my thought process ain't where it needs to be to keep regular videos rolling. Uh, I don't, I don't even know about getting here and doing any testing. I don't even remember where I left off. But right now, the only thing on my mind is get everything moved. We just want to pick up, get everything moved, get it in the new building. Next video will likely be your first look at our new building. Huge, huge, massive place. It's almost twice the size of this place. 
we've got a building is um, 176,000 square feet. Massive is an understatement. And it's funny because it's such a massive, just huge building. And we're filling it up so fast, moving stuff out of here. And this building's nowhere near that size. Uh, but it's real cool. We got the build rooms now, multiple build rooms set up. Really nice, really cool. Uh, things are uh, th things are transitioning kind of smoothly into the building. It's just rough getting out of here because there's so much randomness. So that's it. Update over. Now y'all know what's going on. Now you know why the channel's just been dead. I've been completely MIA for the past few weeks. Hopefully we can hurry up and get this thing over with and back to your regularly scheduled program. But for now, um, remember guys, if you like what we're doing on the channel, click that thumbs up button, give us a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, we will see y'all then. Thank <laughs> you.